Ross the Boss here from the Camper Pros. Heather and I got something so cool. You guys have to see this. This right here is in between our seats. It has cup holders. And I've wanted these for a long time, one of these. It's 41 in there now. And what I'm about to show you runs on AC, DC, 12 volt, volts or 24 volts. And I'll show you what I have, how I have it hooked up. Check this out, ready? Move these sunglasses. Bam! With a light. I have, now don't mind the soda, I usually don't do this, but if I'm, my sugar's low, I just grab this. I know it's a bad idea. But I have the Gatorades in, Gatorades in here. This is a freezer or a fridge. I have my Benadryl in here for uh, in case we get on the road and we're in the calls and we get bit by a spider or something. Like that. Um, my EpiPen, apples, treats. This is awesome. I've been running this for like three days. This is insane, guys. Because it doesn't draw much power. Only draw, it has eco mode right here, right? And the eco mode, Dusty from working. The eco mode right here slows the compressor down. So it's an so it's basically an inverter compressor. This is from uh, Set Power. Really cool Dakota lithium battery in here. I just I have to put a cover on it. I know, but I got a lot going on right now. So it's a 100 amp hour, and this thing lasts forever. I'm running it with the AC adapter on the Magnum inverter charge controller for the solar. Now this isn't a work van, guys. Our battery is 87%, and I just got back and I'm charging it. You don't mind the mess here, I'm just a mess. But, and I run this LED light off it too. We're gonna get a box truck, either a Sprinter or a ProMaster or Dodge, and it's gonna be a mini box in the back, so we're gonna run air conditioning. But I'll tell you what, when I get that box truck, I'm gonna go back to um, that company set power, and I'm going to buy a bigger one. This one's perfect for the van, it fits perfect, but I want a big one for the uh, box truck. And you know, I'm not here to sell you stuff. You can not buy it, you can buy it, whatever you want to do, but let me tell you, the power draw is like 33 watts, that's it. You can get it, get it down to like zero degrees. So there's certain things that I really like, and I'll tell you if I like it, and certain things I don't like. If I don't like it, then I'm gonna tell you not to buy it. This thing has not let me down yet. I know I've been using it for about a week, but it's running flawless. And the van gets hot, and I just leave it in the sun, I don't care, I'm testing this. I want, I want it to break. But it hasn't broken yet. So we'll throw it through the testing. I'll get back with you and tell you how it runs. It's been running great so far. Um, it's like $200 less than the competitor. So, hey, if it's $200, it's $200. So if I buy another one, I save another $200, bucks, right? And the low power draw in eco mode is really good. I, I keep it on eco all the time. I never put it on regular mode. I don't. You don't have to. Unless you want to like go camping and you want something real cold, you bring it in the house and set it on regular power and get it really cold. Unplug it, put it in your car, and then... Just put on eco so it doesn't kill the battery as fast but i mean a 100 amp hour battery i can probably run that for if you did the math um see if you have stuff in there already cold in the refrigerator then it's going to last longer um you said it like 38 37 and it's going to last longer than like 33 right degrees i use it as a refrigerator i don't need a freezer i'd recommend it keep it at like 30 34 degrees something like that around there 35 34 and that should be fine you can put mayonnaise and everything at that temperature it's not going to hurt it for if you have a work vehicle and you're out there and you want a little refrigerator, so perfect set power is a perfect refrigerator to get. They didn't pay me anything to tell you this, but for something that works flawlessly that I need and it works, then it works. Then I'm sticking with that company. So Fred, what are you holding? The, what are you holding the old lunchbox up for? What are you doing? Well, now because you have the refrigerator in there, I don't have to pack you this lunchbox anymore. Does that help? Oh yeah. Well, how do I get stuff in the refrigerator? I still gotta go there. Well, I just put the lunch, I put your sandwich and everything over here and you just carry it out to the refrigerator. Go beans, see ya. Bye.